Then say, uh, Hakido, same side. First one is counter grab here, arm bar, break down, finish up with hammer lock, coming in, here, alternate you can finish with is a neck crank along with it. Okay, so watch again. From here, I counter grab here, arm bar, take down, coming in, shoulder lock, coming in with the neck crank. So if I turn his head here, turn the other way. I come on in, grab it in the chin, pull up on the chin, so you kind of locking into the shoulder here. I do a figure four hold here. Okay, next one. From here, I come around, I counter grab here, I slide underneath. I keep my momentum going backwards, I come in the block, and I take it down. Okay, so watch again. Come around, through, here, and come back. Set the center lock right here. So I'm controlling all of the lock, and come through, I can fall through the punch, and go into the inner ear, and come on in, in the lift plans, inner artery, or they should do with the strike. So there's three different kinds of center locks you can do at the end of this. You come around here, when we just did, spin, put the pressure on the arm, come straight down and spin a lot. From there you finish with a knee strike. Last one's the throw. You come around here, here, and you throw them over the center line. syllabus here. First one's counter grab. Coming in, arm bar. Take that. Finish off with a nice strong arm bar here. Again. Coming in, counter grab. Coming in nice and fast on your circle as you're coming in. A little slower this time. Coming around. Stepping in. Counter grab here. Circling my body here. Pushing on the elbow here. Pulling up on the arm here. And taking down the arm bar. Next one. This is the outside wrist lock. I come in and I roll my hand over. Roll my seal so you can see what's going on here. Stepping in, roll my hand over, outside wrist lock, take down. Take one more time. So step in, grab, break away, roll over.
Good, we're going to demonstrate two hand wrist grabs from behind as he's grabbing from behind here. Here we one hand up, and he's going to start pushing down. As he starts to push down, I move back and I reach the other hand up. I counter grab the hands here. I step back with my other foot, and I step forward with the same foot. As I do this, I pull this arm up, I pull this arm down, and I'm locking this elbow here. I come in from my throw, which I'm not going to do slow right now because it's hard to do throw slow. So next time I'll actually throw now. So I come again, I go one hand up, and most my foot will move this way too, and I'll just slide over the other way, lock my hand, throw right from that double pretzel throw. Okay, the next one, I'm going to do from a couple of two different angles. You come on in, you step into him. As I'm doing this, behind my back right now, I'm counter grabbing this hand here. So I come in, I strike him in the solar flex one time, Two times, three, I come up to the face, and I spin around and I whip him over. As I whip him over, I lock him in the shoulders here. Come here, put the hand on up, lock him in the shoulder right there. Okay, so again, this one from the front, I come in, I counter grab him here, strike in one, two, three, into the face, boom, I spin around and lock him in the shoulders. I'm on in, bring the shoulder on in, bring the hand up on my shoulder, and I push forward. demonstrate two hand grabs from the front. I do a double circle, use my thumbs as a breakaway here, come up, double center lock, stepping on in here. So I just come on in, one, two, step under, don't stand like this. Okay. Ready? I come around, center lock here, I come across nice and tight, I duck under, and I come in here for a double two arm pretzel throw here. It's right here. So I'll do it again. Set. I'll come in from here, two, stair lock, even under here. So I have that double arm lock on up. I come in for the throw, one, two, three. <laughs> throw right and over. Okay? So. Okay, go ahead. Good. All right, we're doing hot keto. We're doing two hand grabs into one. We're coming in for collar grab here. We're stepping in, trapping the arm here, and we're just going in for the judo throw. Right here. Okay. You can be more aggressive on it, and you go over the shoulder, or you come in a little bit more aggressive here. Come in high and over the shoulder here. You do this, lifting them up. You can take them right over the shoulder here. Now the risk you run on this one is breaking his elbows. So and there's no way for him to break fall. Both of his arms are getting tied up here. So. Two hands grabbing one. Next one, I come in and I'm shoving his own arms in his face. Now, his instinct is just to back up and get out of the way. He doesn't keep backing up on me. So what I do is create a root. I want to root it down. I want to grab his belt here. I'm grabbing his belt, shove his in his face. That's going to take him down. As I'm doing that, I follow through. And as I follow through, I take him down here. I come in and center my knee on right onto the groin here. Okay. And the next one, the last one coming on in two hands grabbing the one here is a downward lock. So I circle around, I trap the hand, and I come in downward lock here. Very painful, you can't tap out, and I push them back this here. So I'm coming in again, two hands grabbing the one, swimming around, trapping, downward lock here. And you know the thing with downward locks, you come in, you always lock into the neck here, follow through. We're doing full Nelson from behind, so if you're applying the full Nelson, I drop down, I grab across, I come into finger lock, outside wrist lock, grab here, throw them over from here, and then come in and lock in the arm here, center lock. Okay? And the next one on full Nelson is if you apply the full Nelson, it goes all the way up, I come down and break this grip, I drop down here, I reach over, and throw right over. 